If you're using Microsoft 365 Copilot, but hate digging through browser tabs to find the chat, I've got some good news for you. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn Copilot Chat into a standalone app using something called a progressive web app or a PWA. It's quick, it's easy, and it'll save you time. So let's dive right in. Now we can use Microsoft 365 Copilot in a web browser or even in the Teams app and you can pop it out in its own window. So why would I want to install the Copilot Chat as a PWA? Well, it's pretty simple. You get faster access without having to hunt through a bunch of browser tabs in your browser. You get a dedicated window, just like a desktop app. And most importantly for me, you can pin it to your taskbar or your start menu so you get one click access. I personally find that having Copilot run as a standalone window ensures that I use it more often in my daily workflow. It's all about making Copilot chat feel like a native app without the extra overhead. All right, so let's get Copilot chat installed as a PWA. I'm going to show you how to do this in Microsoft Edge, but it also works in Google Chrome just fine too. Okay, first we're gonna head over to Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat. That's at microsoft365.com slash chat. After that, we're gonna click the three little dots here in the upper corner of Microsoft Edge. And then we're going to click the apps section right here. We're gonna mouse over apps. And you'll see that it says, install this site as an app. Go ahead and click on that. And then we can name it whatever we want. I'm gonna name it Microsoft, actually, I'm just gonna name it Copilot Chat right here. And we're gonna click install right here in the middle. And now we've got this installed as a progressive web app. It looks like a standalone application. I'll even close this window right here in the back to kind of show that it's installed. We have some options right here as well. So if you want faster access, you can pin your app to your taskbar or pin it to the start menu. You can also create a desktop shortcut. One of my favorite things to do is to add this auto start on device login. This will ensure that Copilot starts up in its own little window for you uh, whenever you start up your computer for the day. So I'm gonna click allow, add all those extra settings. And now I've got the Copilot icon right here at the bottom. When I log into my computer next time, Copilot is just going to auto launch for me and I can keep it up and ready to go at any time. So there you have it, Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat running as a standalone application. It's quick, it's easy, and no more tab overload trying to hunt through and find out where uh, your chat went to. If this video helped you out, drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more M365 tips. Let me know in the comments how you're using Copilot Chat and what features you like the most. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.